Hey everyone, in this video, part three of creating a GraphQL server with Node.js, we will uh, learn about implementing uh, the mutations part of a GraphQL schema. So a mutation allows you to add or uh, mutate data in the uh, GraphQL world. And it, you know it's as simple as creating a record or updating a record or deleting a record, logging in, um, getting a, a JWT uh, or a JOT access token. Uh, all of these things um, would belong inside of a mutation. So we'll learn about that in this episode and how to create it using GraphQL and the uh, Express framework. We'll be using Mongoose as our database layer. Um, like if you see in part one and two, we've set those up so we can query data. Right now, when we run our GraphQL query, we're not getting anything from the database because it doesn't exist. Um, so let's get started creating that. So inside of our project, we need to um, first of all create an event type for uh, the, our input. So while we have a GraphQL object type um, that we query, it's not something that we can use when we input data because we won't be inputting uh, an ID, for example, um, and we when we input, we may want to specify certain things or or, or um, have its own resolvers and things. So I like to create a folder inside of here called input, and we are just going to create a file called uh, event. And inside of here, we need to include a few things like before um, an object schema. Uh, it's actually um, a GraphQL input object type, uh, a GraphQL uh, string. And a GraphQL, uh, yeah, that's it. GraphQL. So we are going to uh, do module.exports, uh, and it's going to be a new GraphQL uh, input object type. And inside of here, uh, we give it a name of uh, event input. Uh, this can be called whatever you like. It's just so you can easily reference it later uh, or within other mutations. Um, it's not really important right now. Fields, uh, we have that uh, name field, which is a type uh, GraphQL string. And we have that date field, which of course is GraphQL string. Now, in the actual model schema in Mongoose, we said it was a date. Um, and that's fine. Um, but when we pull or add to Mongoose, we want to um, set it as a string. So that's that's fine. Uh, don't need to worry about that right now. So um, with that created, you can head on over to our uh, schema. And inside of here, um, we can create a constant called mutations. And inside of here, we'll do a new GraphQL object type. Name is going to be mutation, and the fields are going to be mutations. Cool. Um, oops. There's a comma there. Cool. And that is it for our schema. Um, with that done, um, we can move on. And if we then create um, a folder called mutations inside of here, create index.js. We'll include our um, create event mutation. Uh, we'll call that create event. And again, we're just going to export that uh, create event. Cool. So, and again, this is what is available to graphical in GraphQL for that mutation name. It's going to be create event, and we'll pass in all of the um, arguments and things like that. We'll go into that in a bit more detail. We'll create the actual file called create event.js and then inside of here uh, is where all of the magic happens. Let's go on null. Um, yeah. Um, that is from GraphQL. Kind of just coding this on the fly, so I'm hoping it's going to work. Um, we're not testing it or anything like that. Don't shout at me. Um, types event uh, const 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 uh, event input type, which is what we've just created, and we will get that from types uh, folder input, and we need to event as well. Um, 
Most importantly, um, we will create event, which is for our database model, and we will export our mutation. Uh, the type of this object is going to be um, of event type, which we created previously. The arguments, now this is important because this is where we are actually going to pass in of all of our data. So we're gonna create a variable here called data. Uh, this will be the name. Um, uh, the name is actually just called data. That's just the name of our arguments. Uh, the type is going to be a new GraphQL non null event type. Uh, we need to obviously create a resolve method again. That's our root value, our root resolver, as uh, I think we were once called. Um, Again, uh, instead of just doing this, we can literally just do that. Um, and that's all we need for our resolver function. That's the only arguments that we need. Um, again, we're gonna return a new promise, which has a resolve and a reject. And then what you can maybe see at this point um, is you could create a variable for errors. I'm not gonna go into error handling in this video, um, but this is where you would do a lot of your validation. And there's a great library called Validator. So you can do things like data.name uh, is empty, um, or you, you, you know, and then return an error if that doesn't exist. Um, so inside of here, um, we're just gonna create a new const called new event, and that's gonna be event, uh, new event, and that's gonna be uh, our data, simple as that really. Um, then, uh, we need to do new event dot save and this is a method given to us by mongoose uh, and then on the promise of that uh, we want to return that data resolve data and if there's an error obviously we want to catch that and reject that with errors passed in there as well awesome um, that's all we need to get up and running creating our mutations now fingers crossed everything is working fine which it is, um, this is a, a world exclusive here, uh, code that actually works without writing it beforehand or testing it. Um, so then if we just refresh this, what we've then got access to um, is the mutation. If we create, create event and the IntelliSense here is popping up saying we need a data argument and this is what we give it a name and we'll give a name of um, GraphQL is awesome. That's the name of our event. Um, date. Um, uh, we could just create um, um, var date as new date. Uh, date dot to date string. And then, oops. To sales string. Ah, quality function. And we get that there, it's the current date now. And we can insert this. Now when we do this, we can obviously get back um, the ID and the name. So let's grab back that name. Awesome. So we've got um, GraphQL is awesome here. Now if I just create another event and I actually try and call for that ID, um, we'll see we'll get that ID back as well. Now what we can do here um, is if we just cancel that out and then get the ID and pass that ID in again. We can do ID, the name, and we'll do the date. We'll get the date back from there as well. Run that, and then we get that date we inserted, the title, and the name of the ID. So that's creating mutations with uh, GraphQL using Express in the GraphQL JS uh, module using uh, JavaScript in Node. That's it for these few videos. Hopefully it's given you an insight into GraphQL and how you can get up and running with GraphQL. If you've got any questions uh, or any comments, how I can improve this, please leave a comment, please subscribe. Um, it, would, it means a huge amount and uh, reach out to me on Twitter. I am at NoTrab and uh, most importantly, happy coding and enjoy guys.